Wait, before we start, do you want a bundle of 30 printable Romanian PDF cheat sheets? teaching you words and phrases for conversations for free? Then click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get access. Hello, and welcome to RomanianPod101.com. Today, I'm going to keep it fun and easy. I'm sure you agree with me when I say that gestures can help us describe somewhat better what we are talking about. And I will start with a simple question for you. What are some gestures that you can think of that you or those around you use on a daily basis? Hmm. Buna, eu sunt Larisa. Hi, I'm Larisa. And in this lesson, you will learn about some of the most common Romanian body gestures. Sometimes body gestures help us understand humans better than the words we speak. After all, most experts agree that more than 70% of all communication is non-verbal. If you are keen in making new friends in Romania, don't want to offend anyone, and want to come across in the right way, learning the specifics about Romanian body language can become extremely helpful. Without further ado, Let's have a look at some of the most popular gestures Romanian people use on a daily basis. First, some positive gestures. Da. Yes. Nodding the head up and down is used to indicate agreement. Așa, așa, așa. So, so. Gata. Am terminat. Finished. Once we finish an action, Romanians dust their hands up against each other as if saying, job done. Yay! The V sign. In Romanian school, when students get asked a question in class, they raise their hand up in the air while holding up two fingers as if saying, victory. If I was in class and I knew the answer to a question, I would raise my hand up like this. Tapping the temple with the index finger is a sign of intelligence, while tapping the chin with the index finger is a sign of contemplation. Hmm. Now, let's have a look at negative gestures. No. No. We said that nodding the head up and down is used to indicate agreement. So when we want to indicate disagreement, we shake the head side to side, as you probably do in most of your cultures. Now let's move on to next one. Nu e frumos. It's not nice. Pointing to our cheek or showing the cheek. Romanians use this when they talk about someone else to indicate that they are rude, inconsiderate, or what they did was shameful. Naughty, obraznik. Have you been naughty lately? Then your Romanian parent or guardian will probably scold you by pointing their index finger in your face. To steal something, we show like this. We move our hand in a sweeping motion with our palm faced away from the other person and moving it from the front to our stomach across the hips towards our back pocket. Hotul fura. The thief is stealing. Oh, Leo! Oh, no! Romanians show despair by yelling, Oh, Leo! and putting their hands on their heads. Valea, pleacă de aici. Go away. To tell someone to get away from you, you shoot them with your hand. And for our last category, I have for you a few gestures which might be similar in your culture, such as Mie foame. I'm hungry. Mie son. I'm sleepy. Abea alcohol. To drink alcohol. Liniște. Be quiet. Cât e 
este ceasul? What's the time? Cât costă? How much does it cost? Sună-mă! Call me! Stai! Așteaptă! This is used the same way the police show someone to stop their car in traffic. You can use it to interrupt someone when they are talking or to show that you have had enough of something. Before we wrap up this video, I have two extra gestures that you might encounter while visiting Romania or speaking with Romanians. The first one is blessings or the cross sign. Traditionally, Orthodox Christians cross themselves by using three fingers. The thumb, the index finger and the middle finger pinched together to touch their forehead, followed by their stomach, the right shoulder and the left shoulder. This is a silent prayer to bless oneself throughout the day that you may see Romanians perform when a church comes into view or before and after having their meals. At the opposite end of blessings, we have chuchu, putting the thumb between the index and your middle finger. This can either be used as a sign of contempt or defiance, or it can mean nothing at all, as in telling someone, this is what you get, chuchu is what you get, meaning that you don't actually get anything at all. To conclude, Romanians are naturally quite expressive in their tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language, often motioning with their hands to emphasize their point. This sometimes can seem theatrical, so expect many gestures to be used during your communication and consider how much you use your own in comparison. This is what I have for you today. I hope some of these gestures will help you to communicate better and getting your messages across or even decode or read someone's nonverbal language when speaking in Romanian. It's important to keep in mind that these are generalizations and that different regions and social groups in Romania may have different customs and gestures. I recommend observing the locals and learning from them as you adjust to living in Romania. Now, what are some of the gestures you use most frequently in your culture? Do you have the same gestures Romanians have? Or does a certain gesture we use today have a different meaning in your country? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video until the end and please give us a like, share and subscribe if you like our content. Pe data viitoare! La revedere! See you next time! Goodbye! Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets, but only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets.